Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how to extract just the middle name from a group of names that has first, middle, and last. And somebody asked me about this, so I figured we'd try it out. I'm going to show you it in a couple of stages here. First, I'm going to extract the middle and last name combined. Then I'm going to extract just the middle only. Then I'm going to show you, how, show you how to combine these two groups of functions into one kind of master function, so to speak. So um, getting the middle and last is going to be easy. It'll require simply that we use a mid function and we start one character after the space. So basically, I would just start to type out a mid function. The text in question is the cell that contains the full name. The starting position is going to be the finding of the space plus one, which is one character after the space, comma. How many characters do I want? Eh, I, we, could, we could figure this out, but I'm just going to go ahead and put in a 20 right now just as a placeholder. 20 characters, and I'll press Enter. And I must be missing a parenthesis. Oh, I'm missing, of course, the rest of my find function. Uh, that's right, I need to find the space within the cell that contains the full name. There we go. So now we get the middle and the last names for the individuals. Now to get the middle name only, even easier, we're going to use a left function and we're going to stop basically at the space. So I can start with a left function. The text in question is the cell that contains the middle and the last name. The number of characters will be the finding of the space within the middle last name combo. And I need one extra parenthesis. Oh, it put it in there for me. So it did add that extra parenthesis to close off my left function. And there we go. And now we've got that. So now we have the middle only. But you'll see that this took up multiple functions in order to write that. So the ideal way would be to combine. And combining is pretty easy. As you do these a few more times, you'll be able to write them from scratch. But basically, this is the ideal function over here, except for the places where it refers to cell B2. Okay, So you'll notice that in my successful function, it refers to cell B2 in two locations. Well, whenever it refers to B2, I really want the formula that's in B2 to be in there. So it's going to make it kind of long looking. So check this out. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to take um, this exact function, just going to copy it, paste it right over here. Okay, so I've got the exact function. Left B2, finding the space within B2. But whenever I see a reference to B2, I want to replace it with the function that's in B2. So I need to go to B2. I'm going to select the entire function except for the equal sign. I'm going to control C to copy that and escape to get out. Now check this out. I'm going to go and edit my combined function here. And whenever I see a B2, I'm going to select it and press Control V as in Victor to paste. There we go. There's one. And then there's another B2. I select it. Control V as in Victor to paste. Now what I'm left with is a rather long function. This entire function here is going to produce the middle name. When I press Enter, there is the middle name. When I fill downward, I get the middle names for the other individuals. The nice thing about this one master function, though, is it's no longer dependent upon column B. For instance, I can take column B out right now just by deleting it. Notice my first attempt at the middle function is now broken. But my combined function is fine because my combined function only relies on the information that was in my original column A with the full name. So a rather long function to get what we want, but if you take it in stages, it's a little bit easier to put it together.